What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers Report. And last video I did a Road to the Show um, franchise series. It was the first episode of many. But in today's episode, it's back to the regular uh, report for the Texas Rangers. And this one is a tough one because the Rangers continue to struggle on the road. Uh, we just lost to the Colorado Rockies and we continue to uh, lose on the road. Um, and it's a big problem. We are super far under 500 right now. And we are not looking like a competing ball club. And it's tough because we have shown potential this year. Um, I mean, I, not to make it to the playoffs, but maybe... Um, to add pieces um, in the offseason, maybe like a Trevor Story or maybe Noah Syndergaard or a Clayton Kershaw. But now it begs the question, are we even in the spot to add a Clayton Kershaw or a Trevor Story? Like, what is it going to take to put the Rangers over the hump? Because, um, I mean, Adola's... He, he's been doing great, but, I mean, he's been struggling too with these... Um, on the road it's been difficult to say the least because all these guys have potential joey gallo uh nick solak willie C calhoun um but they've all been struggling i would say nate Lowe. he's been one of the most consistent players uh he hasn't been getting a lot of hits but he's been getting on base he's been getting walks so it's been um, frustrating, and it's not like we can just call up one of our top prospects like Sam Huff or Josh Young because they're all injured right now. And it's not like we can just like sign somebody. Um, it's just, it's frustrating, and and our best trade piece is injured right now, which is Kyle Gibson, Joey Gallo, our another top trade piece isn't um playing extremely well he has he isn't doing terrible um uh, but he hasn't been doing great with the power and if you're trading for joey gallo you want the power to be there with him um like it's great that he's walking although he's still striking out and if you're trading for jo G joey gallo you want the power so is it even worth trading joey gallo if we're not going to get um top prospects back like, sure, we might get a top 10 prospect from another team, but we want somebody back that could help change this franchise around and c can make us compete really soon. So I'm just curious, like, we've been struggling. So what is the direction of the ball club? Because we're obviously in a rebuild, but Chris Young and um, John Daniel said we would be competing pretty soon once we got the new ballpark. I know Chris Young just got here, but John Daniel said... Uh, we'd be competing the first year in the ball club, I mean ballpark, and then he said it'd be like two to three years. Well, we're getting pretty soon to that window, but it doesn't seem like um, if we add a Trevor Story or a Clayton Kershaw, it doesn't seem like we're going to be in that spot to win. I mean, maybe if Cole Wynn and Hans Kraus have really good seasons, then things should start trying to start to turn around. And if um, Sam Huff um, starts playing well and, and Josh Young start to play well, maybe that can give us um, some hope to go after free agents. But will free agents really want to come to the Texas Rangers whenever we have another bad season? I mean, I guess it could help um, with the draft again, and we can draft a guy that could... Um, be at the majors pretty soon but it just begs the question are we actually that close to be a competing ball club i guess this was kind of a rant video um the rangers ball club still has potential on it like if solek starts playing to what he can actually play up to and same with gallo same with calhoun and we start winning some games I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. Like, I don't think anybody thinks we're going to make the playoffs. And Dane Dunning starts pitching to what I think he can pitch up to. Um, then maybe we um, say, okay, um, we look at how these players played, like the last few months of the season or like the last half of the season, and we're like, okay, that gives us um, 
hope and maybe we can sign a Trevor Story or a Clayton Kershaw or even both. I think there are some of the right pieces there, um, but if we are to trade a guy like Joey Gallo, we have to get people that are going to help the ball club pretty quick, kind of like in the Lance Lynn trade. But if we really need to click the reset button and say, okay, we're not going to win for the, another four to five years, then we need to look for different players to help the franchise out. Um, let me know what you guys think on this topic because we've been struggling lately on the road. Um, it's been it's been difficult. Hopefully, the Rangers can turn it around. I know we are going to lose games this year, but it's pretty ridiculous that we've lost this many games on the road. But if you remember, the Rangers did struggle at home for a period of time, and we were doing great on the road, and now it's kind of um, flipped. Um, so let's just see how the Rangers um, um, played these next few months. Uh, I mean, we are a young team, so most of these guys are playing in the their very first full season for the first time because last year is only 60 games so let's just see how it all unfolds but with that being said thanks for staying to the very end if you like the video please give it a thumbs up down below because i'm your number one source for all things texas rangers on youtube as i post three times a week um, with two texas rangers um, news and rumors videos and um, i have a new series on this channel where i'm posting one um, Texas Rangers um, MLB The Show Rebuild video once a week. Um, so please subscribe, um, comment down below anything you want to see or any comments you have on this video. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.